now this we can write n square h square by 4 pi square into here 4 pi epsilon naught by e square m here this 4 4 and 1 pi here pi gets cancelled that is uh, n square h square epsilon naught by pi m e square this is the radius of the first uh, electron orbit r n is equal to n square h square epsilon naught by pi m e square now if we write uh, n is equal to 1 if we write n is equal to 1 then we'll get r n is equal to that is a uh, r 1 is equal to we'll get h square epsilon naught by pi m e square we will get if we substitute all the values h value epsilon naught value pi m and e values then we can get the r1 that is as a a naught this a naught is called a bore radius of the electron this uh, a naught is equal to will get 5.29 into 10 to the power of minus 11 meters this is the bore's radius bore's radius a naught is equal to 5.29 into 10 to the power of minus 11 meters already we have the energy equation the energy equation e is equal to we have that is a uh, m e power 4 by 8 pi epsilon naught that is a uh, energy equation by this we have uh, energy equation of uh, the total energy is minus e square by 8 pi epsilon naught into r n if we substitute this uh, r n value into this equation then we will get a uh, minus e square by 8 pi epsilon naught into r n value here i am substituting then uh, we will get a uh, r n that is a uh, n square h square epsilon naught here we will get a uh, pi m e square here this pi pi gets cancelled then here we will get minus m e power 4 by 8 n square h square epsilon naught square this is the total energy of an electron this is a uh, minus m e power 4 by 8 n square h square epsilon naught square if we substitute all the values into this equation then this uh, energy e is equal to will get minus 2.18 into 10 to the power of 8 uh, by n square joules we will get here minus 2.18 into 10 to the power of 18 by n square joules we will get here if we substitute this uh, one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules then this joules can be converted into electron volts then this en is equal to we will get minus 13.6 by n square electron volts this is the energy of the bohr atom en is equal to minus 13.6 pi n square electron volt if we write uh, n is equal to 1 if we write n is equal to 1 we can get the energy e1 value that is the electron if it is in the lower state then we will get a uh, energy minus 13.6 electron volts if we write uh, n is equal to 2 then e2 is equal to we will get minus 3.40 electron volt if we write n is equal to 3 then e3 is equal to we will get minus 1.51 electron volts if we write go on writing we will get the energy values here this energy values are decreasing in order here by the Bohr atomic model of an atom here by this uh, we can get a uh, r n value that is a uh, e square this e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into m v n square if we substitute this uh, v n value will get r n is equal to n square h square epsilon naught by pi m e square here if we substitute all the values then e is a naught is equal to 5.29 into 10 to the power of minus 11 meters is the bore radius and if we write e value minus e square by 8 pi epsilon naught into r n then e n value is equal to will get minus 13.6 by n square electron volt 
ferrite n is equal to 1, E1 is equal to minus 13.6 electron volt, if n is equal to 2, E2 is equal to minus 3.4 electron volts, E3 is equal to minus 1.51 electron volts. Here, if we take this uh, uh, energy levels, if we take energy levels, then we can get the energy levels by this uh, energy values. Now, observe this energy levels. Here, now, uh, here, this is the energy value for n is equal to 1. For n is equal to 1, this is the energy minus 13.6 electron volts. And for uh, n is equal to 2, for this n is equal to 2, this is minus 3.40 electron volts. These are the energy levels, different uh, energy levels. Now, this is a uh, E1, E2. Now, this is a uh, n is equal to 3. It is E3 is equal to minus 1.51 electron volt. If you write, uh, go on writing. E4 is equal to here nearly we will get a uh, 0 electron volts like that. Here, this uh, energy values are reducing. Here, if any electron is taking transition from this uh, lower state to excited state, these are all called uh, excited state. Excited states. Here, if any electron is moving from energy this is a ground state this is called a lower energy state is called a ground state of an atom here if an electron is coming from ground state to excited to another state then the electron transition takes from e1 minus e2 then e1 minus e2 that is for the first excited state that is e1 minus e2 that is minus 3.4 that is a uh, e2 minus e1 minus 3.40 minus of minus 13.6 will get minus 3.40 plus 13.6 we will get that is a uh, will get a uh, 10 point minus 10.20 electron volts this minus 10 point two, uh, this uh, 10 point 20 electron volts is the energy required to remove the electron from the first excited state. If an electron is present at this first excited state, if we give this 10.20 electron volts energy for the electron, then it can free and it can, it, we can remove that electron from this uh, first excited state. And uh, this energy is called uh, ionization, ionization energy this is called uh, ionization energy if we if the electron is coming from ground state excited from ground state to second excited state then we can write this uh, e3 minus e1 is equal to that is minus 1.51 minus of minus 13.6 will get minus 1.51 plus 13.6 that is a uh, 13.6 minus 1.51 will get a uh, here 90.12 that is a uh, 12.09 electron volts this is the energy when the electron is coming from ground state to second excited state that is 12.09 electron volts here uh, this 12.09 electron volts is the ionization energy if we give this ionization energy then the electron can uh, free from the uh, that state here these are the energy levels here when the energy when the levels are increasing from 1 2 3 4 like that then the energy is uh, decreasing the energy of the levels are decreasing 